morning everyone uh, how wonderful to be able to meet you all despite the pandemic thanks to this technical solution video meetings i can sit here at my home office and still be able to meet you all at challenge e-village uh, and i think it shows how tech can help us solve uh, everyday problems and just imagine how the pandemic would affect us if we hadn't had the technology so uh, let's boost this morning together and I'll start uh, with a film that describes Shalmer's ventures. So I'll start and set the scene and tell you about Shalmash Ventures' vision. And then I will talk about the tech trends that I see right now and conclude with uh, some information about Shalmash Ventures' offer and uh, what we are looking for right now. Uh, and I think that I have one of Sweden's most important missions uh, to lead an organization with a vision to be a world leader in creating and developing research and knowledge-based growth companies that can contribute to a sustainable society. I started as CEO at Chalmers Ventures in December 2020 and uh, I sometimes get the question why I decided to jump on this mission. Uh, and I have earlier financed thousands of growth companies in my role as CEO at uh, Almi West Sweden and all of the companies of, out of all of the companies I've helped uh, develop, I saw that many of the most exciting companies in Sweden, Sweden are really born here at Chalmers. And uh, that's why I decided to join. I want to work together with you and make a difference. And the reason why so many exciting companies are born here are, of course, because Chalmers Ventures start and develop tech companies uh, together with some of the smartest brains in Sweden, researchers, students and alumni entrepreneurs from Chalmers. Uh, and I truly believe that these tech companies can be part of the solution to make our world more sustainable and help solve various difficult societal problems. And that's how Chalmers Ventures, together with eVillage, the School of Entrepreneurship and the Innovation Office, also contributes to, to Shalmer's vision for a sustainable future. And also to the goal to be nothing less than uh, the international benchmark for uh, entrepreneurial universities. The tech sector has huge impact on our society and everyday lives. Uh, the last year it has played a key role in supporting the economy throughout the pandemic from helping many small businesses keep their lights on despite social distancing requirements to enabling office workers to transition to, to uh, remote working. Uh, the tech sector will be equally vital to the economic recovery effort as the benefits of digital technology and innovation will be needed to drive the increases in productivity and economic growth to ensure a, a strong recovery. Uh, and the te tech sector will also have a major impact of Sweden's future sustainable economic growth and affect whether we will be able to maintain the welfare society with, for example, free university uh, education and healthcare. Uh, that is why you all researchers and entrepreneurs who 
take, uh, takes ideas from lab to a profitable company are extremely important. As an early stage uh, tech investor and venture creation organization, uh, our focus at Challenge Ventures lies on uh, disruptions uh, that haven't happened just yet, but that can be anticipated if you keep an eye on uh, technological developments. Uh, the changes we've seen uh, in our society since the advent of microchips, data storage, uh, the internet and smartphones are tremendous. Uh, and the way we communicate with others, the way we consume, the way we shop, uh, the way we navigate, uh, the way we access knowledge, the way we meet, uh, the way we develop vaccines. Just to mention a few key technological uh, develop, developments that have had a far reaching impact on our everyday lives. Now we notice there's a second wave of technological breakthroughs about to happen. And the second wave of technological disruption will be much bigger than we've ever seen before. Uh, we're entering the era with technologies like artificial uh, intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, synthetic biology, 5G, IoT and edge computing uh, evolving exponentially. And the difference being that this time, since we're already globally connected, uh, technological breakthroughs will roll out much faster and be available anywhere within no time. And another factor to take into account is the disruptive power of the technologies mentioned before. Each one of them on its own has the, pot has the potential to turn entire industries upside down, as well as let completely new in industries emerge. But thanks to their digital origin, all of these technologies can be combined to create even bigger innovations. And we're excited when we meet lots of these ideas from Shalmers right now. Uh, and one area that are that is really interesting uh, is uh, biotech. Just as businesses have speed up their operations in the response to the COVID crisis, uh, the pandemic could be the launching point for a massive acceleration when it comes to medical innovation with uh, biology meeting uh, technology in, in new ways. Uh, and not only was the COVID genome uh, sequenced in a matter of weeks, but the vaccine rolled out in less than a year, an astonishing accomplishment given that normal uh, vaccine development has often taken a, a decade. So uh, urgency uh, has created momentum, but, um, but the larger story is how a wide and diverse range of capabilities, uh, among them uh, bioengineering, genetic sequencing, computing, data analytics, automation, uh, machine learning and AI have come together. Uh, and the potential of the bio revolution goes well beyond health. Uh, really, as much as 60% of the physical inputs to the global economy could theoretically be produced biologically. Uh, examples include uh, agri agriculture, uh, like uh, uh, genetic modification to create heat or drought-resistant uh, drought crops, uh, or to uh, uh, address con conditions such as uh, vitamin, vitamin A deficiency, uh, energy, like uh, uh, genetically engineered microbes to create uh, uh, biofuels and materials like uh, artificial spider silk and, and uh, self-repairing fabrics. So those and, and other applications feasible through current technology could create trillions of dollars in, in economic impact over, over the next uh, decade. And uh, one of the health tech companies in uh, Shalmash Ventures portfolio that can help us fight the pandemic really uh, is 1928 Diagnostics. Uh, they can use their technique to discover mutations and also use DNA sequencing to, to prevent the, the spread of the disease. Uh, 
Uh, and we will listen when the founder, Christina Lagerstedt, uh, describes how their technique works. It's in Swedish, uh, but I know most of you understand, and it's just one minute. Ja, det man gör är ju att man digitaliserar och använder hela virusets DNA-kedja. Och på det sättet så kan man se vilka mutationer som finns och jämföra det mellan personer som har fått covid-19. Och på det sättet förstå till exempel vem som har fått UK-varianten och den brasilianska varianten. Så det är ett väldigt stort framsteg att den här tekniken har nu fått genomslag inom mikrobiologin genom covid-19. Så kan DNA-sekvensering förhindra spridning av sjukdomar? Ja, det kan det faktiskt göra. Eh, när det gäller virus så är ju det en sjukdom som är utbredd i hela samhället. Tittar man på bakterier så eh, finns det en väldigt stor möjlighet att göra det. För att skillnaden mellan virus och bakterier, förutom då att bakterier går att behandla med antibiotika, är att bakterier kan växa till själva när virus parasiterar andra organismer för att kunna dela sig. Och då kan man använda DNA-sekvenseringsteknologi på sjukhusen för att identifiera en bakterie innan den har orsakat ett utbrott. Genom att städa bort den eller behandla bort bakterien. Och DNA-sekvensering är också en fantastisk metod där man kan dela data inom ett land och också mellan länder. And there are more new companies uh, within health tech joining Chalmers, Chalmers Ventures right now. Uh, but let's not jump too far in the future uh, when it comes to new ideas or uh, reveal too much about the new ideas that we meet. Uh, I can talk more about that another time uh, because there are a topic that are really urgent at the moment and that we need to have time to talk about. Climate change and uh, sustainability. Uh, and as I mentioned in the introduction, I truly believe that Chalmers Ventures tech companies can be part of the solution to make our world more sustainable and help solve various difficult uh, societal problems. And the megatrend right now uh, that affects all industries uh, is the understanding of Generation Z or Gen Z uh, and the implications of the climate change. Gen Z are our future customers, uh, of course, they have different behaviors, uh, they act differently, but one of the things that I think is really in interesting is how they demand us to really work on climate, uh, climate change. Uh, and uh, the exponential climate impact that we see in the world is creating a force for everyone to change their uh, business model. Uh, it's time to get real about sustainability, uh, so we need to infuse it in everything that we do, uh, from the way that we create new products, how we deliver them, how we consume them. Uh, and basically, I think it's, it's a big shift that uh, no one cannot react to. And technologies, hardware, software, know-how and other technologies are an essential tool for, for sust sustainable development. Uh, they can be instrumental in ensuring that people, have, for example, have access to, to clean water and have access to energy that is clean, uh, affordable and, uh, and sustainable. Uh, and that is why we are looking for this type of new sustainable uh, tech innovations. And we are also extremely proud to have companies in our portfolio that really contributes to a more sustainable world like uh, Trine, uh, Mimbly, uh, Potato Plastic, etc. Uh, and uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I just have to, to share uh, another film in Swedish. Uh, it shows how uh, Madvion constructs wind towers in wood uh, that are stronger than steel. It's really fascinating. Stor vindturbintillverkare inne det svenska företaget Modvion. Målet är en storskalig tillverkning av trätorn till vindkraftverk. 
Det var så sent som i maj förra året som Modvions första trätorn restes på Björka utanför Göteborg. Nu blir världens ledande turbintillverkare, danska Vestas delägare i företaget i hopp om att minska sina klimatavtryck. På det viset får vi svenska arbetstillfällen, vi får en mer förnyelsebar energileverans från vindkraften och vi visar också att det går att bygga riktigt trävande dynamiska applikationer av laminerat trä. Trät är en slags plywood av svensk gran som är både billigare och starkare än stål enligt företaget. Modulerna man har tagit fram gör frakten enklare och skapar förutsättningar att bygga torn på sikt som är över 200, kanske över 300 meter höga. Och man hoppas skala upp produktionen snabbt. And sustainable uh, development are also profitable. Uh, just as digital economy companies have powered stock markets uh, returns in the past couple of decades, so green technology companies could play that role in the coming decade uh, and also create jobs and, and welfare. Uh, and that is what we also see among, among uh, uh, Shalmash Ventures portfolio companies. Uh, the green tech companies uh, and also other tech companies in our portfolio have performed incredibly well during the last couple of years and also during the pandemic year 2020. Uh, and right now the comp companies in our portfolio is worth over 3 billion Swedish crowns uh, with more than 500 employees. And the total value uh, with the uh, alumni companies included are almost 12 billion Swedish crowns. Uh, and the positive exits from Shalmers Ventures investment operations means that we can continue to invest in new startups uh, that can, that can uh, contribute to a better world. And the profit also contributes to finance part of the uh, School of Entrepreneurship. Uh, and. Uh, we don't have any bonus uh, system for employees at Chalmers Ventures, but we love to make good exits because then we can continue our mission uh, and invest in new companies uh, to, that make a difference to our world and our welfare. Uh, and the awesome tech companies in Chalmers Ventures portfolio also attracts private in investments. Uh, for every Swedish krona invested by Shalmers Ventures, uh, the portfolio companies attracts 19 Swedish kronas from uh, external investors. Uh, and since I started in December, I've had meetings with lots of Swedish investor investors, uh, but also from all over the world to talk about our amazing portfolio and uh, how many great companies we have to invest in. Uh, Shalmers Ventures is uh, Shalmers tool for venture creation. Uh, we are ranked as the best incubator in the Nordics and uh, among top 10 global. Uh, and we are also the most active tech investor in early phases in Sweden. Uh, and we start to develop and finance research and knowledge based uh, tech companies with a global growth potential. This picture shows what you get when you work with Shalmers Ventures. Uh, it's a combination of coaching through our different uh, incubation programs, uh, investment from our own fund and our network work of uh, investors that complements the uh, investments that you see on the picture. Uh, and of course, you will be part of a community with 80 awesome tech companies. Uh, many of them are located here at uh, Shalmers e-village. So what are we looking for? Um, it's true that the best technology uh, doesn't always win when it comes to commercialization. Uh, there's a lot of luck involved and the startups succeed or fail for a, a host of reasons. Uh, many factors including the team, market timing, uh, the problem being solved and the route to market must all converge to create a chance of uh, success. Uh, and there is also a big difference between a well-funded science project and a business. Uh, and it's critical that new technology solves real world problems and, and doesn't spend too long time in the lab. Uh, and the universities, which are best at creating successful spin-outs, are also those which put 
customer discovery at the heart of their uh, tech transfer operation. And uh, what our coaches as, uh, at uh, Chalmers Ventures, uh, that's what our coaches at, at Chalmers Ventures are really good at. Uh, and once you've proven where the commercial opportunity lies, uh, companies can focus their time where it matters most and go to market sooner. Uh, and then it also becomes much easier to attract investment and, uh, and talent. So we are looking for awesome teams, uh, scientists and entrepreneurs, uh, innovative tech ideas with the opportunity for IP, uh, sustainable and scalable ideas with uh, growth potential. People tend to be afraid of change, uh, but in the scenarios I presented earlier, change is a good thing. Uh, it's good for our planet, for our health, for our safety, for our society. Uh, also, it's inevitable about to happen anyway. There is no point of uh, running from those changes because uh, sooner or later, someone in your industry will see the opportunity and, and uh, take it. Uh, and at Challenge Ventures, uh, we are looking for researchers and entrepreneurs uh, that have discovered one of those opportunities uh, and that, uh, that have the technological know-how to build a product or a service uh, that can solve a pressing global issue and potentially even disrupt uh, an in entire industry. So our message to all you tech pioneers out there is this. Don't be afraid to solve a really hard problem. We and our fellow partners and investors uh, want to help you bring your tech innovations out of the lab and into the world. So. I hope that you join us and uh, lead the change. See you.